Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I've got a really cool painting technique for you today. I'm going to show you how to do a really awesome galaxy sparkle paint job with spray cans. So this is actually not as complicated as it sounds. What I've got here is a guitar body. It's already based in black. I recommend basing it in a relatively dark color, so it doesn't have to be black, but it's got to be something that's going to allow your sparkle to show up against it. In this case, I'm doing that galaxy effect, that kind of starry night, you know, look up into the stars look, so I want that black background. Now what makes this technique really cool is you're actually going to do it using a dry sparkle. Unfortunately, if we do that on that the way it is, we're not gonna accomplish anything, it'll just kind of dust off. So we need something to hold it there. And of course we need to seal it in as well. We can accomplish both of these things at once just using a simple spray can clear coat. If you're in the process of doing your base coat and you want, you can actually toss this stuff right onto the base coat while it's still wet. But for the purposes of today's video, what we're gonna do is lay down our first coat of clear, nice and wet, <coughs> pardon me, throw our sparkle in there appropriately, and then seal it in with our second and third coat of clear. And then you can go ahead and wait a couple days, scuff that gently, put another three coats on or so so that you've got enough depth to polish properly because sparkle has a little bit of texture to it and then you can polish flat. If you're looking for a really high quality job, a nice gloss and something that's gonna last a long time, I recommend the Catalyzed Polyurethane, the 2K uh, clear coat from Spraymax. There's a link in the description to Amazon. You can check it out there and pick it up there if you wanna help me out or find it anywhere, but it's a really good product. The key there though being that it is quite bad for you, it's dangerous, it's toxic, it hardens quickly and it hardens quickly in your lungs if it gets there. So I highly, highly recommend, in fact I, if I can I'll insist, uh, that you protect yourself properly when you're doing that. Pick up a mask, you can either use a full face one like this for the best kind of protection, well actually an air fed one is the best protection but I assume you don't have that if you're using spray cans or you can use a standard half mask. If you're looking for those, I've got those in the description as well and uh, just make sure you protect yourself. I'm going to be wearing the full face mask even though I'm not using the 2K because any kind of propellant, any kind of spray can is of course not good for you. What else do we need here? Well, we need some sparkle. Sorry I'm talking so quick here. I'm trying to get the information in so I can actually wear the mask while I'm doing that. So of course you've got some options for this as well. You can use something really nice like uh, Paint Huffer Metal Flake here. We've got this color shifting pink taco. <laughs> Oh, that name kills me. Um, Sparkle, this stuff is multicolor. It's beautiful. It's a really high quality product. But there are other options. And I'm going to guess since you're opting for that deluxe spray can finish that you're going to go with something a little more simple, which is just fine and is what we're going to use for today's video. What I've got here are just, what is this? Cre creatology? Cre just, I picked these up at Michael's. They're like a couple bucks a piece. The extra fine, that's the key. You can pick what you want. The thicker your glitter is though, the less, the more coarse it is, the less fine, uh, the harder it's gonna be to seal in and polish out after. Again, that's fine, you can do that, but for the effect that I'm going for, the extra fine is the key. And of course, for that galaxy look, I had to pick my colors appropriately, so I've got basically a black here that glitters a little bit purple. That's gonna kinda go in in the background, I'm gonna throw that on first, and then intermittently, I'm gonna put on the blue and the purple because those are kind of the, the nebula or whatever colors that you would expect to see in a galaxy. So that's going to give us the colors that we want from that. And we're going to alternate them. We're not going to put them in the same place. We're going to kind of throw them on there from different directions. So first things first, let's get our coat of clear on there and then we'll start tossing on some sparkle. You guys can see how I do this. Make sure you're doing it from a distance so you don't end up with just a clump of it. You want it to kind of spread out, flick it on there. And uh, I know several of you are going to complain that I'm over explaining this. So, uh, Let's get started.
that's got a little bit of sparkle to it, hey? Whew. I am pretty happy with that. That has got definitely that kind of nebula sparkle that I was going for. Now, that black base pearl under there, if you want a starker contrast, you want something that's going to jump out kind of even more without having that background sparkle, just skip that step entirely. Go in with your bright kind of pinkish purplish color here, a violet and your bright blue, and those will really jump out of the background if the background is your flat black with just the clear coat on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed this technique. Make good use of it. Show me your projects. Go to my Facebook page or my Instagram page in the link in the description, and send me pictures, because I'd love to see what you guys do with this stuff. You always tend to take my techniques and come out with your own ideas and your own cool projects, and sometimes they're way better than what I've ever thought of. So. Show me what you do with them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Have a good one. Ooh, yeah. Definitely going to take some pro equipment and products and, uh, and do another version of this at some point that, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get.